Hello, Fofamid here, and today I have four tips that you can use to help protect your stream from getting taken over by a follow slash chatbot. So if you've been streaming on Twitch for any period of time, you might have experienced something like this. Oh, wow. Okay. So in general, there's something called a, a chatbot, and then there's also a follow bot, and sometimes, usually you'll get these things um, together. And these are always, for the most part, malicious. If you ever get hit by one of these, I strongly recommend that you report it, make sure that you, uh, you clip it and then send the clip to Twitch. And when you report, it'll help you out a lot. So what do you do when you're hit by these follow bots slash chat bots? Today, I'm gonna share with you four tips to help protect your stream from being taken over. So the very first thing is actually maybe the most simple thing is to have your follow notification on a completely separate overlay. Most people will have a follow-up notification, something like this. And as you see, not only will it say something in chat, but also it'll have an audio notification. Ah, this first tip is just an easy way to turn that off because sometimes when you get hit by one of these follow bots, there'll be hundreds, if not thousands of follows, and you don't want to have those notifications going off back to back. So all, if by having it on a separate overlay, all you have to do is when you go into OBS is that you can quickly just turn it off and that eliminates the sound as well as the overlay. And then whenever um, the follows stop, you can just easily turn it back on and continue like normal. If you're like me and you have some sort of recommendation in chat for follows by stream elements or stream labs, and you don't want your chat to get clogged up like it is here, then a very simple step that you can do is just time out your bot. So like, so for example, if you can't, if you're not able to hit the button right away, just type slash timeout and then the name of your bot. So in my case, it'd be slash timeout stream elements. Uh, usually after the default 10 minutes, that's enough time for all of those follows to just kind of dissipate. This next one is kind of, um, it, you kind of need some kind of spidey sense for it in, in some ways. Sometimes you just get a feeling, you, whether you get followed by someone with like a really bad name, kind of like this, that's been blurred out. Or you see a bunch of like the same message, like hi, 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 or uh, th like the same emotes, or just uh, suddenly a, a bunch of people just enter your chat, or you'll see like your view count suddenly spike for no reason. So when you have this like this, this suspicion that something is about to happen, like the calm before the storm, what I strongly recommend that you do is just turn on slow mode. What slow mode does, it basically just slows down your chat to prevent it from getting spammed like this. And it turns it into, into more of something like this. And what this allows you to do is that it allows you and your mods to easily catch the messages, delete them and block the users involved. Now, the last one is if you've already done step one, step two, step three, so you have follow notifications turned off, you've already timed out stream elements or stream labs, and your chat's already in slow mode, but now they're starting to type really nasty things in your chat. So your next step then is to turn on follower only chat. You might be thinking, wait a second, a lot of these chat bots, they have a follow bot integrated with them. The thing is though, is that usually they'll spam you with follows and then all of a sudden spam you with chat and then they're done. So by turning on follow only mode, uh, you, there's actually a setting that you can turn on that you can have a duration of how long a user needs to be followed before they can type in your chat. I always view this as a last minute measure because personally, I always like having chat open so that anyone can come in, check me out and see if they want to follow or not. So only turn this on after you've already done step one, two, and three. And then personally, I would recommend turning it off uh, as soon as the, um, the follow bot slash chat bots have exited and they've, or they've already all been blocked and all their messages have been deleted. If you're still here in the video, thank you for sticking around. And next I'm going to tell you some things that you can do to help protect your stream in general. So when you go into your Twitch dashboard, and you go into your moderation panel, you'll see some settings that you can turn on. So personally, I like to turn off hyperlinks for anyone but a VIP. So this means that anyone that's VIP or above are the only people that are allowed to send links in your chat. And basically just this just prevents anyone from spamming your chat with links. Secondly, I also would strongly recommend turning on 
email verification. So this means that in order for someone to chat in your stream, they basically must have a valid email. Uh, this just adds like just one extra step or one extra hurdle for any potential malicious user uh, to do anything in your chat. And, and my last like bonus recommendation is uh, a bot called Nightbot, which I will leave a link to the in the video description below. And there's two settings that I would recommend turning on is exit symbols and repetitions. Basically, just this just prevents people from spamming ASCII pictures as well as repeatedly spamming the same word or phrase over and over and over again. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any other recommendations, please let me know in the chat down below. Or if you have any questions, I can also try to my very best to answer them as well. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.